Buddha with another video. So today we got a special, special video today. We got a Q and A. We had um I had posted that I was gonna do a Q and A on all my social medias, on Snapchat, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and believe it or not, I got roughly like 45 questions. For me, that's humbling and like it just showed like it motivated me if anything to like. It shows that we have like a little audience that we can just build because I haven't really taken this thing serious, you know. Um, we got body collector in the building. Anything you want to say? <laughs> you know, he gonna keep it short. <laughs> oh, what's up? I'm out here getting bodies. With my I'm little out body. here getting bodies. So right now we got our we got our rebirths out right now, and we just not even our rebirths. These are like our our like projects, and we just run in a little park, and we just gonna do this Q and A, and see. See how how lit this video can get. Um, surprisingly, it shocked me the amount of people that uh that like had questions about what we said in videos and stuff like that. It kind of shocked me. It was like at least four or five questions that you can tell in this that they've watched our videos and like you know had something to say about it. Um, <laughs> so I think we'll start off the first. We'll start off with like questions that they've asked both of us, and then we'll go into like. We'll go back and forth between like me and you. <clears throat> Alright. Um, they got right questions now they, for me. Uh, huh? They got questions for me. Yeah, they got questions for you, right? It's like four or five I, questions for you. I'm like the unknown nigga. What the hell? Yeah, but I tag you. I told you. I tag you in every video in the description. You know what I mean? They hear your voice in, in these videos, you know, they're going to wonder who it is. I'm All not right, saying, well, like, we get a crazy it. amount of views, but, you know, like I said, the 30 to 40 people that we are getting to view these videos, you know, they probably a couple of them got some questions. One of them is going to probably make you happy because, you know, it's about, like, what you have a passion for and shit, so. Um, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll start off with the questions that they asked for both of us. We'll start off with the easy ones. Uh, someone said, what's your favorite team? That guy has obviously never watched our videos, but, you know, I'm not going to hate because, you know, he still asks questions and he showed love, so. But uh, I'm a Celtics fan, as you can see on the brim. Uh, since well, did he say, like, what, NBA team or, like, teams in general? He literally just said, what's your favorite team? <laughs> uh, so I guess right, we'll do well, both. We'll go, we'll go football and NBA. Uh, for football, I'm a Pats fan, as you can see, right behind me. Um, been loving them since I was a kid. Uh, I was always a Celtics fan. I was always a Celtics fan as a kid, but I lived in Florida for a little bit. So the heat at that time was so nasty that it was hard to not like them. And D-Wade was doing crazy shit. So, um, I definitely liked that team growing up, but I knew that the Celtics were like my favorite team at heart. What about you, buddy? Uh, I'm a Laker fan. True diehard. Grew up Laker fan. For the NFL, I'm a Cowboy fan. Grew up Cowboy. diehard, just like the Lakers. I can't <laughs> help it, bro. I have to bleed that shit. Nah, it's America's team, but it's also debatable if the Patriots are America's team. Because they both, I don't know. But... Patriots are cheaters. They don't get to be. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. What's the excuse the last two years? What's the excuse? You know what I mean? They did something. They paid all uh, somebody. They did something. Something going to come they out. got money. <laughs> they paid Yo, somebody. Yo, y'all, this game, this game right here is a little bit hard because this is like our first game playing with this guy, and we ran to Elite Three. So if y'all know Park, this shit is like a hard-ass game. Um. So, yeah, that. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. I don't know why he put, gave me the animation, though. <laughs> so, yeah, Cowboys and Patriots. Um, another dude said, where y'all from? Right now, I'm living in, I'm not going to say exact city, but I'm living in Massachusetts area. Pretty much, if you want to say Boston, that's cool with me. Sheesh. It's a hike out there, ladies. It's a hike. <laughs> Oh man. 
this fan, this fan, uh, I'm not even going to say fan, this person, this person, uh, definitely watched one of our videos. He said, what's with the cow Lowry hate? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. No, nobody, like, all right, I'm not going to say we hate him. I think, for me, it was the, uh, the finals for me. When they say, when they won the finals, they called Kyle Lowry. Who who is it? What do they call him? One of the, the greatest most, leaders the greatest in Raptor Toronto. <laughs> yeah, one of the greatest Raptors left. And I was like, "What? Are you serious right now?" Oh, I was like, shit. "No, no, 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 no! Don't play him up there. <laughs> Don't ever put him up there." Vince I'm, Carter I'm, was I'm like, "What? Like you all know how many highlights I didn't have for that team? Like." Exactly. Look, Kyle come on, Lowry? man. Just because the Rosen was even chill. probably like, yo, chill. <laughs> Kyle Lowry got just, oh, my goodness. I don't even know what else to say to that. Like, this speaks for itself. My take on Kyle Lowry is this. He, first game, first game, he played good D on Curry, which, all right, that's, that's hard to do. But then he didn't, like, oh, man, my fault. He didn't have more than, like, 11 points that game. You know what I mean? So he didn't shoot well. Um, there was one game where I remember, I think it was the last game, he had, like, 26 or 23. Like, all right, cool. But, like, that didn't, you know what I mean? That was inevitable, bro. It was, like, 3-1. to one. Like, the series was over. Everybody knew it. it was regardless of whatever. I think Van Vliet had a better series in that series than he did. So, for people to say or just hop on Kyle Lowry, like, he wasn't a choke artist all his career and finally had one player that was just more clutcher than DeRozan, like, that's just, I don't know, it's crazy to me. I just don't like Kyle Lowry like that. I don't think he's a good basketball player. But I don't like him because he's overrated. He's oh, overrated he's... for what they did. He's overrated. Yeah, definitely. Like, like, a couple years ago, I probably put him one of the, one of the good top point guards. Now, I no, don't. Not like I would even have did that a couple years ago. <laughs> no, I did have faith in him. He was underrated. I would say that a couple yeah. years ago, but because he was like a he not was one of the best point guard. He was at least the top fifteen. You gotta give him at least the top fifteen. Yeah, top fifteen. But I thought you were trying to say like top ten, top five. Like eh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but he he was he was a reliable point guard at one point until he started selling Toronto so many times. Yeah. Like, yo, uh, it's like, it was too. It was too many times where he had the last second shot and he done missed too many times, bro. Yeah. So for me, Kyle Lowry is a choke artist. I'm not gonna lay off of that. So all y'all Toronto, haters, I mean the, Toronto oh, lovers, yeah, yeah. just take your championship, be happy. <laughs> it's cool. That's all I got. My thing is, how y'all Toronto lovers? I I don't know, bro. I mean, you know, Toronto there's a lot of people that live in. There's a lot of people that live in Canada, so I kind of understand why why people would, like, love that team and they stuff. They are but... cool. But I'm saying the ones that are not in Canada, they are Raptor fans. <laughs> I have never heard of a Raptor fan since, what was it, year 2016? I have never heard of a Raptor fan, unless you was a Vince Carter fan. That's what I'm saying. I was going to say Vince Carter did. <laughs> but, yeah, no. No, it's it's like you being a fan of the Bobcats or back back then it was Bobcats. What's it now like? The Hornets. Yeah. If anybody said they're a Hornets fan right now, can anybody tell me a Hornets fan? Right yo, now, it's, can, yo, it's funny. Someone y'all. someone on ESPN <laughs> said that the Hornets were gonna have an underrated season this year because they picked up Terry Rozier when they were gonna lose Kemba and. Oh, yo, all this crazy shit. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> They're tripping. Oh, um, well, they definitely put him in the hot seat, though. They put him in the hot seat. I mean, he wanted he talked that talk after the year ended, so now you got to follow up. Oh wow. No, no sir. No, no, no sir. So, uh, <laughs> next question for both of us it said, "What's y'all biggest streak in Park this year?" For me, I don't know. for me, I remember doing? one time where we fucking we played like three days, and I think we lost like two or three times. Like that was probably like our, are they my talking about streaking, streaking that one day, or are they talking? 
I mean, I, that's what it said. What's your biggest streak in part? I mean, yeah. I would say I would say that day. I mean, that like little run it was like two or three days of just pure dubs. <laughs> yeah, that. That run got me my elite. <laughs> what I had out my defender at that time. I think so. And you had your yeah. My ninety six. Oh, we were streaking my my defender. Yeah. Oh, we get we can hit them with the the snicker. We can hit them. So that'll probably be my biggest streak. Did you guys play sports in high school? I don't know if you want to go on that first, cause. You go on that. You you got the long story. <laughs> well, I got a long story too. I can't say. I mean, that. nah, I not really a long story. My first year, my first year, um, I was kind of like quiet about it. I didn't show no type of sports, so I didn't play football. You know how football is first and then basketball. I didn't want to show yeah. anything at all. I just wanted to come out of nowhere and just fucking take over the basketball court. So, <laughs> um, I pretty much didn't play first year, first year football. And then I played basketball and came out of nowhere and, like, shocked everybody at the tryouts. Like, yo, where this dude? He just been walking around, not talking to much, like, many people. And he just came out out of nowhere and just fucking took the starting point guard job. Like, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, football, I did the second year because the assistant principal kept asking me. And so I did, uh, I did running back for that. But, uh. They had a little pit bull on their team. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did. I did running back and I did linebacker for a little bit, but I didn't really like linebacker because I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm was a point guard in basketball, so for me, I'm more of a finesse dude. So I like the little running. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't, I don't like, like it. Nobody. <laughs> I, no, they I don't, hate they don't that, like shit. that Yo, shit. I got hit. I, I know this basketball is, players. They don't like that shit. This is this is for me. This is where it was a reality for me. I remember I was playing linebacker for one play. And I knew it was a clear run. Like, they had the whole setup like it was a run. So I called the play. I said, I said, you know, the play for it to go right. Everybody ran right. Bro, I got cut blocked so hard on my knee. Yeah, I thought I blew my shit out. Like, I was, like, so scared. And, then, like, I crawled off the field. And, and uh, like, I was good, like, a couple minutes later. But, yo, know, that shit hurt so much, I was scared. Like, I was like, yo, I'm good with that. I'm good. So I just no basically lie, kept it up. I got a couple of those. That's just I, crazy. I kept it to uh, punt return and, and running back. I was like, fuck that. I'm good. <laughs> punt return? That shit ain't safe either. Yeah, but like I know my, that like shit. I said, I was one of the fastest dudes though. You know what I mean? For me, that was like easier than than linebacker. That shit hurt. <laughs> you the first one to say that because everybody hated that backfield. Everybody yeah. I knew hated the backfield. I hate the backfield. <laughs> nah, I loved it. I loved it. Cause like I said, I'm one of the fastest dudes. So, well, was one of the fastest dudes at that time. So, I knew, I knew well, if I could run, run to the edge, I'm just gonna run, run to the edge. Yeah, yeah, you can run around people. See, my big ass, I'm gonna hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. <laughs> Damn, uh, shit. Another person said, "Why y'all never have a third? That yeah, that's crazy. How y'all how y'all trolling us? And this is just a Q and A. I just wanted to do a Q and A. And y'all gonna come out here and say why y'all never have a third? Why we never have a third? Because it's a fact. Always somebody <laughs> acting goofy. Like I can't. always someone acting goofy. They like, start off good, I swear. And some of the some of like the best players that I have like on my friends list." Start off good for like two or three days, and then they fall off. They get comfortable, and then they start doing what they regularly, like the regular schedule program, and that's it. They do enough just to catch us, just to like convince us to like play with them again, and then they stop. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Um, but uh, I did play. Uh, I played football through what my freshman through senior year. Word. I played basketball. What position yeah, you played football? Football, I played I played the whole offensive line except center. 
I played everything. You like hammer to the right, seven. hammer to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like nah, nah. I was, I was, I was everything on that line except the center. I hated that center point. I, I did not want to hike the ball. I don't know how people do that. Yeah. I don't know how niggas be hiking the ball and then blocking. That's that's just completely all yeah, that level. I never I like I never liked that position either. But I would never. Yo, I remember when I first started football, not to cut you off, they put me on the line at first. And I was, like, so confused. I thought this was, like, really what. Because the, when, the, when the principal was asking me, they were like, yo, the team needs a running back. Like, you would be perfect. Look at your stature. Like, you're, you're small and, like, you can, you can run fast, blah, blah, blah. He convinced me. So when I went, the first day they put me on the line. And my first game, I started off on the line. I got fucking pancaked by the biggest, like, offensive line, um, defensive lineman you could find. And that was it. I was like, yo, I'm not going back out there after that. Like, you was on <laughs> offense or defense? You just you on, said pancake. On, on offense. On offense. When they when I first. Before they put me as running back. I didn't get it. See, I know we used to do it just because they were fast. So they assume you could go, you, you're fast enough to get ripped through the uh, pass block. <laughs> I don't know why they no, assume no, for that defense, shit. For defense, all right. Like, I probably would have tried it, but it was offense, bro. Oh, I thought I'm you not... said, oh, you play offense. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, you, well, then you didn't get pancaked. You, you got planted. <laughs> this, this, this. Well, whenever that shit was, that motherfucker pushed the shit side, out side. of me. <laughs> and he fucking, <laughs> yo, we bodied my ass. I'm not going to lie. And he, yo, I knew he was a good guy because he picked my ass up, and I felt more of a fucking... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Th- I did that a couple of times. Yeah, that motherfucker picked me up, and you tapped me on the helmet. I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, <laughs> this ain't for me, coach." <laughs> right, that's shit real. I know we used to do that shit because I used to play Iron Man. I used to play both sides because <laughs> it was enough big niggas. I used yeah. to have small niggas, and I had to. I had to pull. <laughs> I used to do it like. But defense was my thing. Defense was, I wanted to plant this. I want to get a sack every time. I was, I was probably kind of dirty too. I was probably digging <laughs> dirty eyeballs or some shit. Oh shit! Oh, JR. Nah, I wasn't that bad. Nah, yeah. nah, huh? Who? JR. I don't know who it is. We played with him a couple times. Um. Okay. Yo, this question right here, these two questions, like, one was for you, one was for me. Yo, these two questions literally was like, yo, this dude knows what the fuck he was talking about. He said, Carl Malone and Gary Payton or Dwight Howard and Steve Nash, who was the biggest bust, body? <laughs> oh, man, what? The biggest bust? What you mean the by big- that? He basically saying, when y'all got when y'all had Kobe, Shaq, y'all picked up Gary Payton and and Carl Malone. If you remember that that's that pick. Oh, oh, okay. And then oh, he said, nah, nah. Dwight Howard or Steve Nash and Steve Nash. Like who was the worst? Who was the bigger bust for the Lakers? That was like I was like, yo, that is a good ass question. <laughs> oh, that that's the Dwight Howard and Steve Nash. That would be because. We we could we could hold our own to a um to an extent with uh Gary Payton and uh Carl Malone. We already knew they're old and Kobe was still young and, and look, we still carrying niggas back then. At that point where Steve Nash and Dwight Howard came over, Kobe could not carry niggas. He was not gonna be able to carry them to and he got injured. So he, they were the biggest bust because Dwight Howard's oh, so he was the best center in the league at that time. Yeah. And Steve Nash, like I don't even know why they did that. Like, I don't get me wrong, Steve Nash is that nigga, but at that, like they call him at yeah, his he's, late age. Yeah, I don't even understand why they do that. Like they get the, the all stars on their downfall. Yeah, I don't get that. <laughs> and then the spicy the spicy one for me was Kemba or Kyrie <laughs> so this motherfucker uh, definitely we, knew we already knew we already yeah. knew that one 
he 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 knew what he was going where he got when he asked us these ones. Um, <laughs> Kemba or Kyrie? It depends what you're asking me. Like in the, in my system or in just in general, because Celtic system is different from from like what Kyrie likes to do. You know what I mean? He's a more of an ISO player. Kemba is more of a if y'all remember Isaiah Thomas, he was like letting it come to him. Getting running off, you know, like running off pick and rolls and shit like that, running off 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 ball screens and stuff like that to get open. That's what I think Kemba's gonna be doing instead of what Kyrie likes to do, where it's just mostly ISO. So I think definitely for the, for the Celtics, Kemba, but in general, I think Kyrie is obviously a fucking dog. But. Tough words, tough words. Yeah. This one's for both of us. It said, uh, Lou Will or Jamal Crawford. <laughs> That's a I good mean, one. Val or Prime? Uh, this just says, Lou Will or Jamal Crawford. Shit, if it's prime, I'll go to Paul Crawford. But right now, Lou Will. I'm going to say just Lou Will in general. Like, Jamal Crawford, don't get me here. He's nasty. And he's been doing it for a minute. But Lou Will, Lou Will fucking got clutch-ass buckets. Like, a lot of clutch buckets. Uh, I guess. I'm not going to take Not just counting last year. Last year, he hit a few. If you look back at Lou Will, Lou Will's got mad game winners. Shoot it. Hey, he got two girlfriends, and they twins. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, yo, you crazy. I can't, so I you can't know determine. I got to go for Lou Will. <laughs> I mean, I fuck with Lou Will, but I can't determine just because he got game winners or plus plays that I'm just going to who's a better player like. Jamal Crawford is that nigga. Jamal Crawford is, right. but the last, like, two years that he's still been in the league, I, he's done, like, a couple games here and there. Lou Will's still fucking hitting game winners for clutch uh, good teams and shit. But that's what I'm saying. It's an age, it's age difference. And I said prime, you can't fuck with Lou Will. I mean, Lou Will can't fuck with him. I mean, to not, not to a crazy standard, but enough. What? Oh. Oh. I'm still learning that shot. That shit kind of quick. That's my... <sighs> Fuck. How is it not? If he make that. Yo, come on. Get out of here. Give me bump out animations out and everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This dude definitely watched our video. Uh, he said, why do you hate LeBron? <laughs> and, uh, and do you see him returning to the throne this year? I guess that's a question for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not hate LeBron. <laughs> I do not hate LeBron. <laughs> I. Yo. I do not hate LeBron. Like. Yeah, it's hard to explain, man. <laughs> I don't hate it's, 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 like if you see that video, bro, you would understand. You understand what I'm saying when I say LeBron. They putting up stats that LeBron is one of the greatest Lakers all all time already. 
and he has not that's, did that's anything the media, for us. That's, that's the media just talking. I get you know that, I mean? and that's what I get that, and that's why I get a little, little pissed with it. Cause like, come on, bro. Like really, greatest. Cause that's 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 dumbass people. Like that one dude on on first take that said, oh if if. If um, LeBron gets one title for the Lakers, he's automatically the best Laker ever. Like, fuck out of here, bro. That's like, insane. That, but speculation, just like that, that's that's what kills me. That, that's that's like that. what I understand. But LeBron in general, bro, if he fucking gets two, three rings, he's you know he's gonna be one of the top ten. You know what I mean? Lakers of all time. The people gotta understand. Lakers got a full fucking squad like of Shit, all time. Yeah, I'm lagging. Is that? Hard. I'm lagging. You there? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Oh, I'm good now. I can barely move. Why are they lags? Are they lag switching? Are they, are they switching they right win. now? Like, yo. Just, yo, y'all seen this? Like, lag switch. <laughs> yo. I'm, I'm, I'm Wait, clipping this. Is that? I'm clipping this. Someone just it's 20 to 14, there. my nigga. Facts. Y'all had the game in the bag. You was sent to that. That's crazy. Nah, I ain't even gonna get it. Alright, we need a real third in this motherfucker. Hold on, y'all. Let me find somebody to run with real quick. Yo, he he coming back to the throne. That's all I'ma say. All that all that shit that David Gr- all that shit that David Griffin talking, all that all that shit that David Griffin popping, bro, and 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 then uh, what was it? NBA dropped the uh, dropped a list of top top twenty players or something like that. He was five. Fuck out of here, bro. Yo, he's coming back for vengeance. That man, he's pissed. You don't appreciate the disrespect, and I understand. I hope so, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't hate It's just other players that I wanted more. That's just, that's all it was. It was like, I was, I can tell you right now, I was a Kyrie. I was into, not, oh, I ain't, I ain't mean Kyrie. Kyle, not, oh, not Kyle Lowry. <laughs> I was Ka- into Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Bro, not Kyle Lowry. I Kyle was into Lowry. getting Man, Kawhi. Buns. Kawhi and Paul George was my picks, and they both went to the Clippers. That's my thing. I get that we got one of the two biggest names now. My thing is, can they stay healthy? That's where I get off with the LeBron shit. But I, I mean, I understand LeBron. This is the first year, but oh, the first time like, we got hurt like that. But that's what I'm saying. That's what scares me. We always just like that one question earlier, or who's the biggest bust? We always get these niggas when they're older. They always come to us in their thirties or higher. Yeah, and that's none, a fact. Of them, none of them players, bro, ever. None of them players spend as much money as LeBron does on his body, bro. Like, this nigga spends hundreds, millions of dollars a year on his body. So trust. If he, if anybody can bounce back from a, from a little injury that he came back from anyways, he still finished out the season. You know, like, he came back from something that he was supposed to be sidelined for for three months or six months, they said. He came back and, like, Three weeks. I get that, but it's the stuff that they throw up there is just it's crazy to me. That's the only thing. I just feel like it's disrespectful. I mean, that's their job. I all, say some all the shit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Let those look at, be look awesome. at Ryan Hollins. 
Look at yo, this is dude, right? Hell no, Ryan Hollins don't. No, yeah, we go. I told you last video, we gonna we gonna get into a Ryan Hollins reaction video because that shit, this motherfucking crazy. <laughs> yo, yeah, he's crazy. That man talks. Well, look at now, you tardy. This nigga stupid. Stupid. <laughs> It's completely like beyond beyond me. Like I don't know what he on. Yeah. He on something. That man done said Russell Westbrook could have beat the Warriors by himself. That man done said Um Kobe and Jordan couldn't tie LeBron sneakers. That man done said Um Odell Beckham is not even a top ten wide receiver or something. He, yo, he, he's just. What? Yeah, he's, I didn't hear that one. Oh no, he's this he's ridiculous. High. Yeah, this high. there was one this one segment I saw him talk about um, football, and I was just like, yo, whatever he said, I was just like, yo, he's crazy. He doesn't know shit about shit. He averaged two point six for his career. He he shouldn't even be talking ball, bro. Like, um, to be honest, he probably be... he probably went to school for that shit. That's why he went to school for this shit, and he had a degree to talk. And like, oh, yo, can you? Nah, nah, I'm not thinking. <laughs> nah, that I man is the Take worst analyst in the world. He is the DJ Academics of. What uh what, what's that that shit we used to watch all I used to listen to all the time with Joe Button. Everyday DJ, struggle. See, but he like DJ, DJ Academics got credentials though. You know what nah, I mean? That nigga was straight. No, he was kissing ass to the young generation. He was kissing ass. He wasn't kissing ass. And then he was throwing he out wasn't shit kissing that ass, he thought bro. was I would facts. Not, no, I'm not he gonna I'm not gonna hear that. Ass, bro. Bro, People he used to just report. He just clowned. used to he just used to report what used to go down in Chirac and shit like that. He wasn't kissing their ass, bro, because a lot of these Chirac niggas hated him because he was saying shit like, like oh the, the oh you know the Chirac demon um um little Reese, you know if he says something's gonna go down, it's, it's gonna go down. He's not kissing their ass though. I wouldn't say kissing their ass. Uh. Cause I used to watch his videos, his little videos before he made it, bro. Trust, and I've never, like, thought he was kissing the ass. The only person I would say like he was probably just doing it for the wave was uh, Six Nine. The Six Nine probably fucking nah, wanted the same. There was a lot of niggas who was doing it for the wave, my nigga. Lil he was Yachty, never... bro. Who? You don't believe he was Lil Yachty? He wasn't doing it for Lil Yachty. He wasn't riding with little Yachty, bro. When they, yes, when they, he was. He was riding bro. his mans. Yes, he was. He was, bro, yo, when, I was like, yo, what is this? Bro, when little Yachty about? went to the fucking, when little Yachty came to, to Everyday Struggle, nigga, that was a whole embarrassment that he went through. When Joe Budden was like, oh, um, are you in a 360 deal? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, how you not know you're not in a 360 deal? You gonna tell me if DJ Academics really fucked with his little yachty like that? He's just gonna let Joe Budden sit there and rip him in two? Yes, cause this nigga is a yo. He is a bitch. If you, look, I used to watch every one of those. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? I'm looking, and Joe Budden used to give the craziest faces to the nigga. Because the shit, the shit is, he, DJ Academics likes, like, the little Uzi Verts. He likes the, he likes the, uh, the little Yachty's and shit. But I wouldn't say he's dick riding them, bro. That's a whole other, like, whole other like beast. Um, All right, maybe not dick riding, but he's doing the same thing Hollins is doing. He's from, he's, I feel like he's more our generation than he is old head. You know what I mean? Joe Budden's an old head, so he's he's gonna be totally biased to anything else but you know what I mean Tupac, Biggie, the essence. You know what I mean? So automatically, when Lil Yachty didn't know if he was in a 360 deal, it's gonna piss off the old uh, head. But I think I don't think what I think oh, uh, DJ Academics. Is a fucking like he knows what he's talking about in terms of just like, ah, like no. the the regular shit. I feel like he a Hollins. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Look at Vic Mensa. Vic Mensa went up there and he said, "Yeah, I used to want to fucking smack you." 
And he's like, why? So, remember that episode? Like, like DJ Academics wasn't dick yeah, riding. Still, he was talking about. Bro. He was talking about shit. That's all he because was doing. Because he was also Two Face. He was also Two Face. Because he'll say one thing, he'll go back on that shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that shit? Like, like what though? If I could pull out the episodes, because they even had highlights of this nigga acting sounding stupid. I'll have to just go back to it. I just remember, like, just looking at him every other day, like, just like, yo, what the hell is this nigga? And what, and what people got to understand, Joe Button, more of an inside, I know what I'm talking about type nigga. So when you, when you say something to him that doesn't make sense in the industry, he's going to look at you and look wild. Academics is speaking more from a, a fan perspective. That's what he knows. He doesn't know the inside, the outsides of, of battle rap. He just knows Even the. If he was a fan, he's like a fan to. All right, maybe, maybe I worded it wrong. He was giving in to the young generation. Way yeah, more he's a mill- But that's that's it, bro. He's not an old head, like I just said. He's a millennial. He's like he's like a news news recap. Like you gotta understand, his first stories oh, were man. like Chief Keef in them. They're not. They're not old heads. They're fucking our generation of of different type of rap. Uh, drill music was around back in the day, but drill actual like the actual category of drill music is our generation, bro. So DJ Academics is not is not an old head at all. He's a, definitely a millennial, but. I don't think that that makes him a fucking dick rider because that we all have certain things that Yo, we like. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, we all have certain things that's that we like. That's it. Damn, it's not gonna work. Was I? I can't. I'm sorry. This video almost over anyway. I can go get my 96. Nah, it's not that. I'm, I'm just done with this. Yo, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. Bro. My nigga not acting right today. Next question was, what is your next video? I have a couple things in mind. Um, oh thinking about God. doing a, either a reaction video or just doing like a, a mukbang. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. Uh, pretty much just sitting, sitting here enjoying a meal. And, you know, basically I just want to get into like, I feel like, like I was telling Body, this, this channel really lacks like, a video where I touched down and, and actually just spoke to y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all pretty much watching us play and just talking about, like, random categories. I never really sat down and just said, like, ah, oh, what is this dude doing? Sat down with y'all and just, like, really talked to y'all one-on-one to the fans and anybody watching just saying, like, you know, this is what we're really going to do on the channel. This is what I expect, you know, expect out of it. This is what, like, what I want to bring to the table for y'all. So definitely got to get into a video like that. I'm definitely glad I got, we got this Q and A out the way, you know, for the fans can know a little bit more insight of of the people that are talking instead of just you know watching a video and just seeing two random guys talking. Now y'all getting to know us a little bit more, and we open I it up. I did get my camera though. It's coming oh. soon. <laughs> I just gotta get uh the extra equipment, which I'm gonna get uh information from fully. So and then. When he does that, when he gets his camera on, we can basically record, um, like screen record our videos, and and then like send it to each other, and then I can put his, you know what I mean, at the same video, basically watching our gameplay, and then 
you know, put his face like right under mine, and then y'all can see the two people talking. That's where I told y'all we want to do like we want to do like reaction videos and shit like that. But it's gonna be two people reacting from two different states, which I don't think ever has ever been done. So maybe we can set a trend, which will be pretty cool. Ah. We just, oh my goodness today. But this is something I definitely got to, like, just beginning this YouTube thing is pretty hard. Um, But I want to, like, learn how to, like, play and still talk to y'all at the same time. Because I try to give y'all just, like, an entertaining video at the same time. Try to get these dubs, but it'd be hard sometimes to, like... <laughs> And please comment, like, what games you guys want us to drop on here, because we do have other games. Yeah, like, I was telling Body, like, yo, just give him something different to watch, you know, Apex. He's like, oh, you know, we're not good at Apex like that. We, we're not good at Apex. That's the but only reason I said that. I wouldn't that. mind giving it a shot, you know what I mean? Just because, like, like, it's something I, different for y'all to see instead of us just playing part, If we could get more I mean? bodies, if we could get a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more into it, we, I, I'll feel more comfortable, like, we would get this... But I don't want I don't want y'all to just see us get killed in the fourteenth <laughs> place, fifteenth yeah. place now. Like want to be a competitive shit. Might as well play Fortnite at that point. Yeah, but, I wouldn't um, mind playing Fortnite, giving it a shot. No? Yeah, we could. Yeah, because that's that's team. Like you can keep going yeah. and shit. Or we could get back into Call of Duty. So um, those of y'all that are still watching this video, I appreciate y'all watching the whole video. Our uh, Instagrams are down below in the description. If y'all want, go to V2K Park Bully on uh, on Twitch and follow our Twitch. I mean, well, my Twitch, and then you'll see all live gameplay there. That's where, like, the uncensored videos go. That's where, like, yeah, we go crazy. You never know what's going to happen that day. So tune in. Um probably gonna bring y'all another video within the next couple days so just like comment subscribe if you're new and i'm out man that's some game bye bye <laughs> oh shit i love this shit man